Oh, no. I know what it is, Rich. <laughs> I know why she declined the news interview. Okay? She can do plenty of news. Now's a good time for her to do a news interview. You know what it is, Rich? She lost her fucking wig. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I'm back, bitch. I am back. I meant rich, not bitch. <laughs> so, what I wanted to show you uh, quickly, Rich, is that you are a member of a public group. Garly Routier is innocent. Right? Let me show you something that's real interesting about this group because you don't speak up when you should. Right? Now, the administrator, one of the administrators is George Barwood. Right? Now, George Barwood has clearly blamed Darren for the crime. Says Ed Edwards helped Darren do it. Right? But I don't see you under there correcting any of that shit. Now, uh, granted, this has been a couple years ago, but he's always, uh, he's always blamed Darren, right? But have you ever stepped up to say, hey, you know, that's that's not him, you know, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever done that? Darren and Darley Key have managed to stop Darley from having an ethical legal counsel ever since Darley's public defenders were removed. Now they appear, appear to have conned the innocent project as well. Darren wasn't questioned in a documentary and bore endorsed by Vanessa Parkin, nor was Darren identified as the killer. Witnesses who know Darren, who know Darren was the killer, were suppressed during the making of the documentary. Now, I don't see you under there correcting that. You say you don't like misinformation. So I'm expecting to see you, I'm expecting to see you clear this up, Rich. All right, because you're a member of this group. It doesn't make you guilty of his, you know, his thoughts. But why aren't you doing anything about it? You said that the truth was important. Now, this wasn't too long ago right here, right? All right, this is your administrator, Rich. You should leave that group immediately, right? This guy is an avid Jody Arias supporter. Those are my kids are good. You're in this group, Rich. This And he's just posted this, you know, a couple months ago. Why are you still in it? All right? You want this type of misinformation to be spread around? George Barwood is also an avid Jody Arias supporter. He buys her art, writes to her all the time. Here's another one from a group that you and Bonnie are in. Here's another one right here, Rich, that your administrator, right? Shouldn't you leave that? Do you want to be a part of a group that spreads this kind of misinformation? You and Bonnie? See this comment right here, Rich? That's what you should be making. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, William Walter. Here's a comment from one of the supporters over there that you failed to correct, Rich. There is a small piece of me that thinks that Darren stayed married to her until 2011 because he wanted her to continue to believe in him. No. Darley wanted to. Darley had tried for divorcing him way before the, before the murders. He's a sneaky rat, so he would 
so she would not start to question him. But on the 911 call, there is a por portion, 5-1909, somebody who did it intentionally walked in here and did it, Darren. If you listen closely, I have listened to it over, you can hear her actually point the finger at her husband with her tone alone. She's angry with him. It's as if she wants to say to him, what the hell did you do now? And look, even Routiers are claiming him. Oh, we got questions. <laughs> but now you're doing pre-recorded stuff. But anyways, uh, you said you don't like anybody, you know, talking bad about the family members. Darren's a family member, Rich. Why are you in groups where they talk bad about him? Kind of looks like you support that, right? Your wife, your wife promotes your videos in this group that's run by George Barwood, who got owned by Vinnie Politan on HLN. Look up uh, George Barwood, HLN. Uh, this is what you, where your wife is promoting this group, promoting her videos in this group. No one has called him out. But you want to say that we're haters. You said you don't want anything to do with anybody that disrespects the family. You don't see any of the family over here. Dude's a nut job. I, I dealt with George Barwood myself. Everyone, I would like to mention the incident in 1971, blah, 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 about the Gambino crime family, blah, blah, blah. The point is that organized criminals have a lot of power. In Darley's case, I believe Darren was told to commit the murders in order to cash in on life insurance money to replay drug debts. Darren changed his life insurance policies to favor himself. Even, look, and people are buying this shit, Rich. You should be standing up for Darren. You know, they love him. Darren didn't do this, right? One member stuck up to him. And she's a nutcase most of the time. We've kicked her out of all of our groups. But at least she stuck up for Darren. Rich, I don't see you or Bonnie doing that. And you pretend like you're friends of the family. Why are you in this group? Why are you posting your videos over there and telling them to come join it? Come watch. Now, Rich, I want to show you something, okay? Where you should have been sticking up to, for Darren, right? George says, I think Darren staged it to look like a Tommy Lynn's, Tommy Sells attack. Except for Tom, we all know Tommy Lynn Sells was in jail somewhere else. But when you go down to the comment section, let's move on down here. Let's move on down here. Let's move on down here. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. It's a good speculation. The only problem is Dallas wasn't, Tommy wasn't in Dallas on June 6th. He, no, he was in jail. But it's a good speculation. You don't like speculation, do you, Rich? You're still in that group. And they are disrespecting Darren. They're disrespecting the You're a hypocrite. Now, George Barwood used to picket Vinnie Politon, right? Kept saying, oh, I'd love to go on his show. I'd tell him off. So I know somebody's friends with him, and we sent it over, right? So Vinnie took him up on it, right? I've been on a panel with Vinnie Politon over on Molly Go Lightly. But anyways, I knew, you know, so he wanted to have him up there so he could clown on him, right? Jody Arias. This is this is your administrator, Rich. Your administrator. All right? Let me be sure this is turned up pretty well so we can hear it. Opinions. But especially on social media, people get, you know, get kind of excited about this stuff and really let their opinions known. So we, we found a, a Facebook page. Jody Arias is innocent. And we said, okay, well, someone thinks she's innocent. We gotta talk to this guy. So let's bring him in. His name is George Barwood. He's joining us all the way from the UK. George, uh, nice to see you. And let me just say from the outset that I don't agree with your assessment of Jody Arias, but right. I, I will be civilized here. Yeah, he'll be civilized here. But I'm telling you, Vinny did not like him, and he cuts him off. But he he, he did this to make a joke out of him. It's the only reason Vinny did this. And we'll have a nice vigorous talk. 
uh, well, the yeah. most vigorous talk about the facts of this case. But let me start here. Why would you start the Facebook page, Jody Arias is Innocent? Well, I, that's not my page, but I, I, made, I made a page. Why you, why you, why he lied and said that's not his page. That is his page. Why Jody is Innocent, a, a Facebook page. It's to allow anyone with a smartphone to read about the, the key physical evidence in, in Jody's case, which, which proves that she's, proves she's, her story is true. You know, okay. Well, let, me, let, me, let me say this first. With your, with your accent, you know, for, in this country you have an accent, you know, you sound so yeah. credible. So let's start here. It, it, tell me one reason why Jody, you believe Jody Arias is innocent. Well, the, the prosecution kept changing its theory. They, they, it's a sign they don't have good cases, isn't it? I mean, the medical examiner, he's claiming a typo in the autopsy report. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not credible. Have a look, have a look at that. There's, there's, there's lots of things in the autopsy report. There wasn't any damage to the brain. So there's another explanation for that. For, and, uh, okay, let me jump in, though. You say that the prosecution has changed their stories. Jody Arias yeah, changed they, her they, story. They, they, why, they, why did she change her story three <laughs> times? You, uh, uh, Jody's, you know, uh, I, 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 got I, I, off to a very I, bad start, didn't I, she? Yeah. She didn't lie. She didn't want to admit to what had happened. She was, she was, she was afraid, you know. Afraid she of was afraid, what? Frightened. She was af afraid she'd committed murder. I think she didn't know what happened, did she? But, uh, but, but, yeah. I mean, the, 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 let's, let's <laughs> you know, that's all fluffy stuff, isn't it? You can't, you can't prove anything from that. You know, John Martin is, he, he, he had a theory, didn't he? he uh, but Physical evidence is all fluff. This is your administrator, Rich. You should be ashamed to be in that group. It was a different theory. Originally, they said the gunshot was first. Yeah. All right, Detective George, Florence. George, he, we're, we're hitting a commercial right here. Picture. We're in a commercial. I want you to stay where you are. I'm going to bring in some yeah. friends of mine uh, who, who want to speak with you as well. Uh, some folks who covered the trial. All right, he thinks she's innocent. What do you think? Let's go to part two. It does. It makes my brain scramble. All right. Jody Berry is facing the death penalty September 8th, but there are still people supporting her, including uh, George Barwood. We found we couldn't find someone, apparently, in this country. We had to go to the UK. George <laughs> joins us here along with our dream team. Lonnie Combs joining us. Judge Hatchett. See how sarcastic Vinny is. Great to have you all with us, ladies. Okay. Uh, hey, George, you strike me as a very normal, reasonable guy. Now look, Vinny does not like him, and George picked at him and picked at him and picked at him because because he said, "Oh, I'll bring Vinny on and blah blah blah. Uh, I'll, let me go up there. I'll set him straight." Blah blah blah. And at the end of this, he cuts him off. He has George so frustrated. He did, 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 did. this is your darling supporter, right? That claims that Darren committed the crime that you're in the group with, right? Your your wife is promoting your videos in that group, right? You got kids? What's, what's, what's Just give me a thumbnail sketch of who you are. Yeah, well, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty bright guy. I, I went to Cambridge University in the UK. I, Look at I, that. I got a scholarship to school. It did not go to Cambridge. Scholarship to do physics and maths. I'm a physician. You know, okay. A, a phys physics and maths. So I'm a physician. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Physician. You know, okay. A, a physics person. Phys okay. A mathematician. All a right. scientist. You what? Know? What if, what, someone tweeted us and they wanted to know if, if George had a crush on Jody Arias. <laughs> I support a lot of different people, you know. He buys her art. He mainly supports women. I, I, I support, and, and more than half of them are men. <laughs> okay, there you go. That straightens it up. All right. So, but he never said he didn't have a crush on her. Oh, you, you told us. Give me another reason why you believe Jody Arias is innocent. Well, the, the, the motive's not credible. I mean, Jody was on a trip to see a new boyfriend. Why would she be jealous of Chad Travis? I mean, crimes of passion are not premeditated by a week, are they? You know, this is all wrong. This, all this right. doesn't make sense. I, uh, ladies, anyone want to jump in on this one? He's clearly not a woman, Vinny, because he certainly doesn't understand how methodical some of us can be. A week is absolutely not unreasonable if you really want to get that element of surprise going. So sorry, George, can't, can't agree and with you. And George, there. you didn't address the fact that she was jilted. I mean, he was on his way on a trip out of the country with another woman. Let's remember that. And he changed the ticket from Jody to the new woman. Yeah. I mean, she had, I mean, she was, was going to see, Jody was going to see her, her new boyfriend. That was a yeah. fake. That boyfriend the, had the, the, nothing the, to the do. The boyfriend was, a, was an alibi, right, yeah. Ronnie? Wasn't the boyfriend right. an alibi? Yeah. 
That was a that was a cover. That was a setup. But Absolutely. George, let me ask you, just to get it straight. So, do you buy Jodi Arias' story that she went into a fog the moment that she actually started stabbing and shooting Travis, and that she didn't come sure, out of it until later? Sure, that's a over the fact. If if the stress levels rise beyond a certain amount, you can't remember anything. That's that's a. And then why did she never? Why would she never call the police at any time? after that she was terrified if she realized you know. that she what she had done and she was totally innocent and it was in self-defense I'm, I'm assuming you're buying her self-defense that she travels yeah, no, she was her. she was putting it she was putting it off she didn't know what to do did she she just put it off and put it off and and, and then you know she you you hand your would you hand yourself in another thing you know they, they say jody lied about returning this gas can to walmart i mean what's that got to do with anything I, I, I found out Amanda Webb didn't work at that the physical store Jody Shaw. Oh, shot he's at. a liar! That's nonsense. That the, the, the significance of the lying about the gas can is that she lied in front of the jury because she was explaining but her she didn't prior. Lie. She was. Well, she didn't oh, lie. The well, black testimony. Oh, you know what you yeah. should do? You, you should you should send an email over to Kirk Nurmi then. Because well, they know <laughs> well, that that'll come out. You know that'll come out in the appeals. Jody's going to appeal. Well, gonna appeal. Yeah, everybody appeals in this country. All right, uh, how much time? Uh, Jody, Jody Arias, and you can see my group remembering Travis Alexander. I've got like almost 6,000 members over there. Uh, Jody's blowed her appeal away during her last statement Yeah, uh, where she turned around and said, oh, by the way, he was still alive when I shot him. <laughs> she, she, cause that proves that she lied in the other trial but anyways watch watch Vinny get rid of him how much how much we got a wrap okay George it's, it's great meeting you and I'd like to speak with you in the future as we get closer to the new trial yeah you're welcome you're very oh, okay. you're very welcome feel about this. Yeah, well I, I, he never addressed that part he of went to Cambridge yeah he's got credibility to a certain extent he never and he did not go to Cambridge if he went to Cambridge he was there to pick somebody else up don't let him lie to you about that Address what he had a crush about. Yeah, no, I've had two successes this year. I got David Cam David Cam's trial. I, I followed that absolutely. I represented him. He was. He did not represent David Cam at all. He was exonerated on his third trial. Okay. I followed so Deborah Mel very closely. She's out of. We're out of time, George. Thanks so much. Coming up, we're going to talk about. The <laughs> so, Rich, this is your administrator. This guy right here, this is where you guys are promoting your videos at in front of, for a nutcase, all right? I think you better fix that, Rich, because it looks to me like you support the theories that Darren committed the murders. You sure aren't over there telling him off about it. Owned.